What's up you guys? Welcome to the video. Thank you so much for coming to the channel. I'm here with my new friend Felicia and I'm super excited to record this video. You guys know that I love recording videos where I'm able to basically not talk about myself and talk about someone else for a change. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today. I recently found out about Felicia because she tagged me on Instagram and I get tagged in like things all the time. Yeah. But I saw that she had like in one of the old school Beast to Beast shirts and I was like, what the heck? And then obviously she has a crazy transformation. So then I just like followed her and I was like, what the, you look awesome. Like congratulations <laughs> on everything. So we found out that she actually lives was like 45 minutes yep. away. So I was like, I would love to record a video. And then she was like, I'll drive to you. Like totally fine. I was like, oh yeah. great. Cause I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of driving. In the world. <laughs> uh, so that's what we're going to do today. We're just going to hear her story. And I think that it'll be inspiring. And it's always really cool to share people that obviously that can relate to other people more than I can. Right. I'm obviously not a woman <laughs> and I'm not a mother. I'm not. So like there's things that sh she can relate to people that I wouldn't be able to do. Uh, so without further ado, I guess you can introduce yourself and just kind of start from the beginning, you know? Okay. So I'm Felicia Keithley, uh, Felicia fitness health on Instagram. Um, I've lost 135 pounds. Um, I did it all through weight watchers and exercise. I guess I'm five, seven. Um, my starting weight was 302 and I'm right about 166 right now. I have been always the chubbier one in my family and my friends. I was never like super, super overweight as a kid, but you know, through elementary school and early middle school, I was just always like the chubbier kid, you know, in my class and stuff. I know those feels. Yep. <laughs> right about seventh, eighth grade, I kind of had like a growth spurt to where I got taller, so I kind of thinned out a little bit, mm. but all my friends were like, five foot, 90 pounds, like really, really small. So I still always kind of felt like the bigger one and kind of like the outcast when it came to my weight. And you know, I always, you know, I look back now and I, I was not overweight, I looked fine, but I still had, you know, mean kids picking on me, always calling me fat, you know, just being mean. And so I just kind of always had like a bad body image, I guess you could say. Um, so once I got to high school, um, it was my freshman year, going into my sophomore year. I went through a sexual assault, um, and I didn't tell anybody, not my boyfriend at the time, who's now my husband, I didn't tell him, I didn't tell a single friend, I didn't tell anybody, um, and so I just started gaining weight. I started eating, um, you know, kind of as a comfort. I started going to therapy, and um, my therapist really, really helped um, you know kind of put the pieces together as to you went through a serious trauma and for a long time I pushed it you know I was like oh I minimized it mm -hmm. I was like this isn't a big deal blah 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 and she kind of you know helped me realize like it was a big deal and you're using food as a comfort and um, you're pushing everything down using food and I was struggling a lot with binge eating I would go to the grocery store and I would eat, you know, I'd eat a whole pizza, a whole box of mac and cheese, a whole thing of donuts, and I would hide all the wrappers. Mm -hmm. I was hiding things in my room. I was hiding things in my purse and sneaking them past my mom upstairs to my room um, to eat in private. And I think my mom found the wrappers. She just wanted to tell me. And so I, she was mom. really, yeah, <laughs> she was really worried about me. My whole family was really worried about me, but they just didn't know what was going on. They were you know, my mom was trying everything to help me, getting me in therapy, doing all these things, but she didn't know what was wrong. So I think it was really frustrating for her. So throughout all of high school, um, that's when I gained all my weight, over 100 pounds. And I didn't even tell my husband until our senior year of high school. I ended up telling him, and he was really supportive. About the, about the assault. Yes, about the assault. He was really supportive. and. Um, I think it kind of all made sense to him too, you know, <laughs> oh, like, okay, okay <laughs> yeah. So then um, he, you know, we graduated, he joined the military and we moved to California. We got married and moved here to California, um, to Camp Pendleton. And I shortly after got pregnant with my son and I was about 270 when okay. I got pregnant with my son. So yeah, I was gonna ask you that. Yeah. So, um, my pregnancy wasn't the healthiest. I wasn't, you know, trying to be healthy when I was eating. I was over, very overweight, um, which caused a lot of complications, um, you know, during delivery and all that kind of stuff. Scary. Yeah, and so um, I had a lot of post-op, you know, I ended up having to have a C-section, mm. had a lot of post-op complications, so um, because of my weight. And I lost um, probably about like 40 pounds. I got up to like 320 with my mm. son. And so I had lost about, I, got, I think I got down to like 270. And then just through the first year of my son's life, I gained another 30 and I got up to 302. 
So. So that, that was your high, highest yep, weight. Yep, and that's when I my son right after my son's first birthday is when I went to Weight Watchers for the first time. Yeah. So I was gonna I wanted to ask about that. So yeah. was there like something that pushed you to want to start using Weight Watchers? What like did you try to lose weight different times and just oh, didn't yeah. work out? And then like, so what was like the thing that was like okay I'm gonna try Weight Watchers and I want to see how this goes. Oh yeah. So after you know going through therapy, I really came to terms with everything, and she really helped me you know, with my binge eating and all that stuff. But then I was, you know, when I was trying to lose weight, I was doing all these fad diets. I was doing, you know, quick fixes and I would lose weight, but then I'd gain it back and I would just, or I would quit after like a week because it was just so restrictive. Mm -hmm. And I would beat myself up about it. I'd be like, why, why can't you lose weight? You're such a failure. I was just always beating myself up, but I wasn't realizing, you know, I was doing diets that weren't sustainable for mm -hmm. me. Um, my favorite word. Yep. So <laughs> I came to a point where I wanted weight loss surgery and oh, I was talking to my mom and she's like, you know, for my insurance to approve me for weight loss surgery, I had to have, you know, a bunch of things, but I needed like proof of failed weight loss programs, uh, you know, like Jenny Craig, oh, wow. things like that. Okay. So I was like, my mom had done Weight Watchers before and she was like, well, why don't you just try it? Mm -hmm. And then if, you know, if it doesn't work, then you can have that as like your, you know, wow, your failed. that's interesting. Yeah. So I walked into Weight Watchers. It was like a random Tuesday morning. I took my son. I was like, all right, let's let's do this. And I was already in that mentality, like it's not gonna work. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna fail. I'm just gonna get weight loss surgery. And um, I walked into Weight Watchers. I weighed in at 302. And the first was that week, the first time you had seen that weight for you? Oh yeah, yeah. So what was that like? It was like being um, seeing over 300. You know what I mean? Was, I can only imagine that. Probably. So when I was pregnant with my son, I was like 320, but I was like, oh, I'm pregnant, like you know. Mm -hmm. But once I stepped on the scale and saw that, you know, I'd always been around 270-ish. So when I saw 302, I was just like devastated. Mm -hmm. I felt disgusted. I just felt sad. And I was like, okay, I'm ready to do this. So let's just try it. Um, so my first week on Weight Watchers was a success. And I was like, okay, you know, I was enjoying the things that I was eating. Mm -hmm. I was eating good food. I wasn't eating, you know, plain strict food like yeah before. so can you can you kind of explain weight watchers i know yes. the basics of it like with the points and stuff like that but yes. can you kind of explain that to people that want to know and obviously myself as well. yes so weight watchers is a point system so um based on your height your weight your gender your age a bunch of things you get a set amount of daily points um and those points are based on you know macro calories um sugar saturated fat protein so the more protein, the lower the points, the more sugar and saturated fat, the higher the points, mm -hmm. things like that. Um, so basically you get an app and you just track all your food and it has all the points already in the system. Now they have freestyle to where chicken, vegetables, fruit, those are all zero points. Mm -hmm. um, and so basically it's just like an easier way to track your macros kind of and calories. It's just like, you know, it's good for people that are just starting and they don't yeah. really know much. It's already done for you pretty yeah. much. So. It's really great and you can eat whatever you want as long as you stay within your points. Obviously, you know, to stay within your points, healthier things are less points. Like if you want a cupcake or something like that, you can eat it. You just track it mm -hmm. and work your day around it and it's really all about making lifestyle changes. I think that that's like what I really like about that. You know how I, you know how I am with like most diets and stuff yeah. like that. And like honestly, before I knew anything about Weight Watchers, I felt like, oh, Weight Watchers is probably like everything else. Just another but diet, yeah. yeah, through following you, honestly, mm -hmm. and like, I've learned a little bit more about it, and I would say out of any of the diets that I've seen, like Jenny Craig or whatever you mm -hmm. want to say, you know, Nutrisystem or whatever, like this one feels like it actually teaches people the most. Oh yes. And like that's you you know that I love like knowledge is power, especially in weight loss. So if you know this thing is worth, <laughs> I don't know how many points things yeah. are. This is, has like 20 points in it. Maybe I should avoid that, or okay, I'll have that, but I'm gonna need to work around the rest of my day to make exactly. that work. And it, that is exactly what it's like when you're tracking macros or calories. You start to learn things that maybe are better for your diet because there's gonna be a little bit less calories in it and you can you can be more full on that so that's what I really like about Weight Watchers and what I've been learning um, by following you mm -hmm. I think it's I think it's pretty cool they also have a huge support system um, just in the whole program and they're really about support and you know overall wellness they have you know on the app they have connect which is like a social media just for weight watcher people so it's like people feel really comfortable in there mm -hmm. and also they have weekly meetings so i um every single week i go to a meeting at my local office and it has i don't think i would be here without my meeting it has given me so much support and also keeps you accountable going every single week they share tips like on the app and just with food like food finds and stuff like that 
and you know people share their struggles and it's like such a safe place and everyone you know has been there mm -hmm. and kind of can relate so someone will be like i just ate you know a whole pack of candy and we're like we get it like it's mm -hmm. fine and so we we're all just there to support each other and i've gotten so much so much support from them and i definitely think meetings are you know not just with weight watchers but just having a support system in general is so so important yeah i totally agree and like that's what a lot of people like i know that you have an instagram that yes. has a, a substantial amount of followers so like that's one of the coolest things for me what i really enjoy about instagram and what i think has helped me a lot is that through having followers i feel like i have that support system as well oh yeah you know what i mean so 100%. like support systems in weight loss and just in wellness in general is so important like so i totally important. can totally see how that would like make it a lot easier especially like if you're somebody that's starting off zero knowledge no idea what you're doing and you go into one of the meetings and stuff like that and you see people that are succeeding oh, yeah. and then you see that those people are going to help you through things like i can see why it would be such an like an invaluable thing for you and why yes. you know you've you've gotten so much use out of it it's mm -hmm. like super super cool totally the you know obviously with the diet changes and everything like that you you've started like going to the gym and stuff like that yes. too right so what was that like like your first time stepping into a gym yes. and stuff like that i know you said that your husband's like he loves going to the gym yes so. For him, so, it probably was exciting. Like. <laughs> yes, my husband is very into the gym. He always has been ever since you know we've been together. So it's just something else we can relate on now. When I first started, um, you know, I was really heavy, so things were hard. So I always tell people to start slow. Don't stress yourself out trying to do crazy stuff. I just would take my son in his stroller and walk to my local little housing office gym. Mm -hmm. And I would just walk on the treadmill, do the elliptical, do like light lifting. And, you know, throughout the beginning of my journey, I did tons of research on lifting. I was going on Instagram, finding like what I, what, what would work for me. And I really have had a love for lifting just throughout my whole journey. So I kind of just started incorporating it more and more, adding hit cardio once my, you know, my knees could handle it mm -hmm. and things like that. Um, and now I'm right there with my husband. I'm obsessed with the gym. It's hard for me to miss a day. I love it so, so much. Mm -hmm. So I think finding something that you love that you can do every single day and not be like, Ugh. Mm -hmm. I think that's so important, especially for sustaining weight loss. Because if you're doing something at the gym that you hate, you're not going to want to do it forever. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So eventually you're going to have that day where you don't want to go. And oh, then yeah. that day turns into two days, yep. which turns into a week, <laughs> which turns into a month. Yep. So I can, I can totally relate to that. So also like speaking about your husband a little bit, mm -hmm. I'm just super interested in that. Cause I think it's super cool. So we were talking a little bit before we started yeah. filming, you guys have been basically like together since, since you were was it 13 years yeah, old. 13. Um, so, I mean, I can only imagine like what it was like, like, going through him going through obviously he didn't know about the the assault and then right. learning about that and then you know with your weight gain and then you know getting pregnant and all of that stuff mm -hmm. like and like you said he's been someone that has always loved going to the gym yep. so like was it would you say it was like kind of difficult for him was he supportive like what was it like when he started losing weight like yeah. i'm just so interested in that because i think it's so cool that he you know stuck by you not to oh, say yeah. like you know what right, I mean, but right. like he stuck through everything with you oh yeah so when i first met him when we were 13 i was in that stage where i was t i wasn't overweight but I, you know i felt i had bad body image but mm -hmm. i was probably like 140 i was like pretty you know i was mm -hmm. healthy and you know i gained the weight we were dating um all through high school i gained the weight um, he, you know, we never really talked about it. Like he was never like, that's a hard conversation yeah. to have, especially yeah. in high school. Like. Oh yeah. But I knew that he was worried about me for sure in my health and just like my family was. And so, you know, he would go to the gym every night and be like, you want to come? And I was like, no, like I would always <laughs> say no. And I think it was hard for him, you know, and now it's, it's fun cause we can relate on, you know, that level, but it was definitely, I think it was hard for him and especially with when I was being, when I was pregnant, I'm sure, it, you know, in his mind, he never told me, but he was like, you know, she's unhealthy. Like it was hard. I'm sure it was really, really hard for him. Um, but when I started losing the weight, he was really, really happy for me and excited for me. And I was just telling him how I would, you know, I lost like 10 pounds and I would put a comparison picture and like, you couldn't tell the difference when I was heavy, like really, really heavy <laughs> losing 10 pounds. was like, you couldn't see a difference at mm -hmm. that point, but I would put the pictures together and I'm like, can you see the difference? And mm -hmm. he'd be like, oh yeah. <laughs> You're slaying but, me, girl. <laughs> yeah. But definitely, I don't think he could. Um, but he was just always, you know, supportive and happy for me. And now it's so different because I ne before I never wanted to go anywhere. I never wanted to do anything. I was just always on the couch, miserable. You know, I was just mean. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, my weight made me mean. It changed my whole personality. Mm -hmm. I was just mad, I guess, at myself in the world. And I was just, 
so self-conscious and I just was just in this bubble and so now losing the weight I'm like let's go let's go to the zoo let's go to the park mm -hmm. and he's like chill <laughs> like he's like whoa okay so it's definitely way way different it has made our family dynamic a whole lot different yeah. especially with my son and everything so yeah that's that's really interesting and like I'm sure he was probably going through what I like people ask me all the time I love my husband so much, I love my wife so much, I love my child so much, and mm -hmm. I want them to lose weight, what do I do? And yeah. the reality is like, there's nothing that you can do until mm -hmm. that person's ready. Yeah. Like, so he could have been trying to force you to go to the gym or force you to eat healthier and, and throw all the food out of the house, but it's oh, just yeah. gonna make you upset. If you're not ready oh, to yeah. change, you're just gonna be like, you're you're making me feel like you need me to change for yep. you to love me, you know My I mean? dad would take me out like to lunch and, he would try to talk to me about my weight back in high school and I would instantly just yep. get so defensive, defensive and yep. mad and he would start the conversation like, oh, honey, I don't want to upset you, but I'm really worried. And you just know like, it's coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would shut it off mm -hmm. right away and he, you know, I, it makes me so sad now thinking about it because I know he was just hurting for me and was worried about me, but yeah, I was very defensive about my weight for a long, long time. It's a very normal thing, I think, because yeah. you, like you said earlier, you're you're upset at yourself. Oh, yeah. And then when people bring it up, no matter how much you know that person loves you, like my mom would bring it up to me, I know that she loves me more than anything on the planet, yep. it made me mad at her. Oh, yeah. But it was because, like, I felt like I couldn't do it for her mm -hmm. and for myself. Yeah. And so, like, I can, I can only imagine that. It just builds, like, on your guilt and your, you know, just how you feel, and it sucks, mm -hmm. but... They're just worried about you and care about you. So yeah. cool. Well, I really feel like we we talked about everything. Yeah. I I do want to say thank you so much for coming on the channel. Thank like, I you think for it's, having me. Oh, of course. Like it's something for me is I obviously there's so many people that I know that have have lost weight, but I I really want to be able to sh share people that I feel like are finding a way to make it sustainable and uh, yeah. and sharing that with other people. Yes. And that's exactly what you're doing. And yes. so that's why I was so excited to have you, Thank you. you know, have you on the channel. But yeah, if you guys are interested in any of her videos or any anything that she does, you know, social media wise, I will link everything down in the description. All right, so I have one question though that I end all these videos oh. on. If you have one tip that you could give to somebody that's like starting their weight loss journey, what would that be? Oh, it's so hard because I have so much. I'm just <laughs> so passionate about helping people with their journeys, but I definitely think, you know, it's cliche, but the number one thing is finding something that is sustainable for you in your entire life. If you are doing something and you think, I can't, this is hard, I can't do this forever and ever, you're not gonna stick to it. You have to find something that works for you. And there's not one thing that fits everybody. Everyone's different, so try new things. You know, when it comes to exercise too, try new things. Try Zumba, try lifting, try CrossFit, try mm -hmm. new things, and same with eating. You have to find something that works for you and your lifestyle or you're just gonna keep giving up. You have to find something that's sustainable. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Pretty much exactly <laughs> what I would say, so I agree 100%. But again, I want to say thank you so much thank for being you. here. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. There was one other thing that I wanted <laughs> to say. Oh yeah, look how buff I am! <laughs> Obey the warning signs, and when there are flashing lights or wigwags, don't attempt to cross until they come to a complete stop.